He knows. Adamir knows what he's doing. The guy went on a tweet storm about chess checkmate and choke on that. He then mic drops an equity share out of the blue called Ape and immediately defends it from a massive wave of FUD like it's one of his children. The man then goes on radio silent basically overnight when it comes to Ape and AMC shares. He knows it's T90 and he can't say much anymore without risk to himself. I still feel as though the tweets he put out are cryptic AF and they definitely are especially the shark one. For months and months, we had a strong green day with red days, but, but it always appeared to be somewhat reliable data on the lit exchanges. Since drop of Ape at $10, both stocks have been hammered into the ground daily. Not one piece of positive news nor volume has caused a spike since. I wonder why. If they let it trade like it's supposed to, it would run like Forrest Gump. Hang in there, apes. It's about to get wild. Very odd logic. It seems very odd logic to me to sell for a loss after you've purchased an equity. Isn't the whole point of owning stocks to buy and hold until the value increases? Why would someone sell at a loss outside of an emergency circumstance? So the short theory just doesn't hold water and the counter is logic. I don't know. I'm just an ape who has listened to one too many books on tape about trading bananas. Now this ape has a good point. If you're buying into an equity and if you've truly done your own DD and if you truly believe in the equity, you're buying into that equity to hopefully have it move up in price in the future. Now you have to ask yourself some questions like how long of a time frame are you looking to hold this equity? Also things like do the fundamentals, does the underlying company still hold? You do have to ask yourself some questions, but yes, in theory you buy into equities to hold until they increase in value and then you sell them. Some tweets to go through, I don't blame the economy. I blame the hedge funds, I blame the market makers, I blame the politicians, and I blame the Fed. I also blame the banks. Those five things right there, the banks, the Feds, the politicians, the market makers, and hedge funds. The amount of power that they all have, all five of those things have. And the amounts of indirectly or directly they all sort of work with each other, or at least indirectly work with each other, is something to pay attention to. Guys, the Federal Reserve sold at the top of the market. Never forget that.